Hello. Hi. Hey. Uh, we're here to talk about set design. Adding elements like blocks or furniture and combining that with different lighting effects, you can really play with the set and make it much more visually interesting. So in this case, we've just got a very simple box made out of MDF wood, stage props, stage weights, and uh, painted board, plywood or MDF. Very, very simple things that you can put together quite easily. So if you're unsure about where to start with a, with a set like this, find a set builder, somebody who specializes in this sort of thing, who can knock up something like this pretty speedily and for not that much money. So when your model is actually on set, she has a lot more room to play with different elements and use different parts of the set. It can just really, really add a real professional look to your images. So doing this sort of set design, as you can see, is fairly flexible. So let's go ahead and change this one. And there we go. Now, it's not that easy, obviously, uh, but all we had to do was move a few bits of wood around, um, change this from one side to the other, add a new background color, and there we go. With this second set here, what we've done is uh, change things around a little bit. We've still got the black and white, and if Juliet, you spin around, we've got uh, black and white on the outfit. And this time we've gone for instead of a yellow, a pink color splash that's really adding to the effect. In this set example, we've used quite a geometric looking background here with a geometric skirt and these props. They complement each other and we've used sort of similar tones, a bit of pastel, a bit of peach, and that really helps to kind of bring the whole aesthetic of the set together. Adding these sorts of elements to your shots can really help give them a professional feel. So here we have another set variation. Um, we've introduced a bit of a prop here. It's just a simple box made of MDF, added a bit of paint. This set we're going to shoot sportswear on, so I think this is perfect for uh, to simulate a park bench or something that you might exercise on. The back wall is simply a rough plastered uh, bit of plywood uh, held up with some supports. What it does is it just adds an extra little angled return here so that the set has a more of a three-dimensional feel. So it's rather than being sort of a flat background, when the light hits this, what you get is different shadowing effects, different tonal effects around the set. So using simple shapes and angles, adding a little bit of color into the set and a different dimension for the light can really brighten up and add an extra dimension to your shots. 